propagation of electromagnetic waves. In communication using radio waves, an antenna at the transmitter radiates the electromagnetic waves, EM waves, which travel through the space and reach the receiving antenna at the other end. As the EM wave travels away from the transmitter, the strength of the wave keeps on decreasing. Several factors influence the propagation of EM waves and the path they follow. At this point, it is also important to understand the composition of the Earth's atmosphere as it plays a vital role in the propagation of EM waves. Ground wave. To radiate signals with high efficiency, the antennas should have a size comparable to the wavelength, lambda of the signal, at least approximately lambda by 4. At longer wavelengths, that is, at lower frequencies, the antennas have large physical size and they are located on or very near to the ground. In standard AM broadcast, ground-based vertical towers are generally used as transmitting antennas. For such antennas, ground has a strong influence on the propagation of the signal. The mode of propagation is called surface wave propagation and the wave glides over the surface of the earth. A wave induces current in the ground over which it passes and it is attenuated as a result of absorption of energy by the earth. The attenuation of surface waves increases very rapidly with increase in frequency. The maximum range of coverage depends on the transmitted power and frequency less than a few megahertz. Sky waves In the frequency range from a few megahertz up to 30 to 40 megahertz, long distance communication can be achieved by ionospheric reflection of radio waves back towards the earth. This mode of propagation is called sky wave propagation and is used by short wave broadcast services. The ionosphere is so called because of the presence of a large number of ions or charged particles. It extends from a height of about 65 kilometers to about 400 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Ionization occurs due to the absorption of the ultraviolet and other high energy radiation coming from the Sun by air molecules. The ionosphere is further subdivided into several layers 